business you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for All About Android is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This episode of All About Android is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, and Android, or TV instantly. All streamed directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. Welcome to All About Android, episode 23, recorded on Monday, August 29th, 2011. This is your weekly source for the latest news, hardware, and apps for the Android faithful. I'm Eileen Rivera. And I'm Ron Richards. And we don't have Jason Howe. We don't. He's but missing in action. He's missing in action. He's you okay. Know, don't he's worry. He's good. He's good. He had uh, car trouble this weekend while camping. Yeah. But in his place, uh, we got some pinch hitters. Right next to me is Aaron Newcomb. You know him from Floss here on the Twit Network. And you also do a podcast called The Source. And That's right. you also work at Oracle. You're doing a lot of things. Do all kinds of stuff. Yep. First time on the show. Thank you so much. And Absolutely. thank you for filling in. And we wanted to yeah. have you on the show uh, originally, but uh, I don't know why we never got you on earlier. Things were crazy. And I'm um, glad you're here now. Yeah, thanks for having uh, me. Also, welcome back. Third week in a row, Nicole Lee. Yay! <laughs> from CNET's Dialed back. In Podcast. Do I win a prize? <laughs> I told you, Jason and I are buying you dinner. Jason, did you hear that? We're getting her dinner. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, I was like, oh, I guess it's just going to be it's Ron right. and I this week. I'm good. And I said, no, we need some, better, some more it. people. And uh, I emailed you guys late this afternoon, and you both, like, stepped in and said, sure, we'll be on the show. So Nicole's becoming like our Alec Baldwin or Tom Hanks on <laughs> SNL. You know, like the recurring guest, you know, that's always on, that we can something. depend on. Yeah. You know it's going to be good when Nicole's here. <laughs> uh, I should say, you know, hopefully Jason's situation improves. Yeah, he's home yeah. now, and um, but I think it was kind of a stressful weekend. So, yeah. um, you know, I'm sure he's watching the show and or will watch the show, and we miss you. Yes. And uh, you know, the good thing is that the Labor Day weekend is coming up, so uh, we're actually going to have two shows this week. We're, we're going to record another show on Friday live, Friday afternoon, Ooh. and he should be here, <laughs> barring any other disasters, hurricanes. Yeah. Uh, earthquakes. earthquakes. I don't know what else right, could geez. stop him from being on this Tsunamis. show. You never know. Tsunamis. These, these, these are the end times. We need to be careful. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm, I'm telling you. So uh, before we get started, I just wanted to give a shout out to Andy Betts, the editor of Android Magazine, who sent this to me. Now, I got a lot of negative responses on G Plus when I said, hey, look, I got a new uh, Android magazine. Most of you That's all just really don't cool. like the fact that, you know, this is killing trees or whatever. But, you know, um, this is the first edition, and I think it's um, solely available well I don't think it's solely available in the UK but um, it's out in the UK and I think it's very expensive if you tr if you try to buy it out here in the States but I think it's you know I think it's kind of cool I like magazines I, I feel I feel like that shows it it's like legitimacy you it's, think yeah because I remember uh, where was I, I was like in in like 08 or 09 I was in Santa Cruz and I was in Barnes and Noble and there was a magazine that was like your guide to Twitter and I was like, wow, Twitter made it. <laughs> like, no, it's, it's a legit really, thing. Yeah. Like, if a, if a yeah. company has decided that we're going to spend the money to print a publication about it, then it's yeah. legit. So, like, I think that's great to see an Android magazine. I, think that's I, I have the yeah. same feeling about anything that has a For Dummies title. <laughs> yeah, true. You know, Android For Dummies. Oh, clearly it's big enough right. to have a For Dummies title. <laughs> there is an Android For Dummies now, is there? I'm pretty sure. Oh, there must be. There must, there must be. be. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so thank you so much. Um, and it's out now for those of you guys in Europe. And uh, I think, again, it's really expensive here in the United States. But I just it looks nice, a quick, though. Quick shout out. I know. Very here, nice me, looking here. magazine. Not that I want you oh, to not pay you. attention to the show, but you could take a look <laughs> at that right now. Uh, and Ron, you had some uh, stuff that happened this weekend that was kind of um, frustrating, right? Yeah, last week. Well, I wasn't on the show last week. I missed it. I was thinking about you guys when I was in New York City. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, schedules didn't line up. But I was in New York City, I was traveling. You might remember that I've, I got, I ditched my iPod. Now I'm completely on my phone and completely yeah. using Google mm -hmm. Music and all that stuff like that. And for the first time ever, I hit my data cap on T-Mobile. Oh. I got a text message as I was driving into Manhattan on like Wednesday. That's like, oh, I should pull it up actually and read it exactly because it, it was <laughs> all it, it, the streaming. So this is this is what I'm worried about because this is what yeah, happened. I'm now, now two. I'm sorry to interrupt, but but two like to give the background. I have an unlimited. I have unlimited. 
text, unlimited data, mm -hmm. and I think I'm on like a thousand minutes or something like that. Even though I want to get you that probably lower. Never use all your. Minutes. No, I do because I take because I work from home now and I don't have oh, a landline. Okay, okay. And mm -hmm. so actually, I got a landline from uh, Comcast be, uh, purely because I was taking so many conference calls. Like mm -hmm. I got a bill that was like, remember I tweeted that I got a bill that was like 65 pages long. <laughs> it was uh, they what? item they itemized everything. It was insane. Wow. But um, That's but yeah, so I get this text message mm -hmm. on Wednesday. Due to the amount of data you have used this billing cycle, your data speed will be slowed for the remainder of the cycle. Oh man! And so, what? so did you feel the slowness immediately? Like Ooh. I was in the car listening to music, and then it cut out. Like it was like it was like <laughs> wow. that. It was like crazy. And I'm always on Twitter, and I'm I'm checking email, and I'm searching the web. And I was like, all right, well, well my bad. I hit the limit. Like first, I went to verify. I went to the My Account app, mm -hmm. and I said, mm -hmm. wow, I did five gig. Wow, good on me. And um, <laughs> and then and so I'm like, all right, so it's legit. And then I'm like, all right, well, let me deal with it. And I went like a day before I was ready to murder somebody. I was just like, oh. I was like, oh, you yeah. So I called them, and I was like, and I was like, listen, I'm like, I'm a data professional. Like this is what we do. I live and die by my phone. You know, is five gig the highest? Like, well, no. If you want to pay an extra amount, you can get ten gig. Yeah. And I said, okay, well, you're not getting another two-year contract out of me. And so, you know, so we were. I worked out with them. We, customer service was great. T-Mobile is great customer service. They okay. were very, very nice. They're they the were best. great. You know, they they have the whole thing where you call, and if there's a wait, they'll call you back, so you have to sit mm -hmm. on hold. And they text message me every time they made a change, and that's very, very, you know, it's good, good, good deal. Mm -hmm. But um, but so now I'm on the ten gig cap, and so now I'm fighting to hit ten gig. That's my goal wow. now. To see if I can get ten gig. <laughs> I might just start bit torrenting just for the hell of it. No. <laughs> that's what happens? That's what happens. Watch more but Netflix. Yeah. Are, you at, are you at the end of your billing cycle? Like yeah. Close to it? Um, I was maybe, I'm like, it's the end of the month, so I'm maybe like, uh, at the time, I was like okay. a week, week and a half away. Okay. So. All right. Well, at least you weren't like a week in. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no. It wasn't like, it started, I think it started July 27th. I think I'm 27th right. to 27th. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's not cool. bad. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. All right. Well, we'll keep a watch. Like, we have the Jason phone watch. We have the... Um, Ron's data plan. Data, data plan watch. <laughs> I need something you guys That's what I get from traveling and all that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I was literally, I was li literally, because I, I was stuck in, I, I was stuck on a delay flight on uh, SFO for five hours, oh, and so the really Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi stunk at W. They, they, do you know they cap it after 30 minutes? You have to like re-log in where? at in SFO. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I was in Terminal One, I think, and um, so I just started streaming data from my phone, and I was watching on Netflix that way, mm -hmm. and that must have that plus Google Music plus yep. all the being on the road. It, yeah, so all right, it's a perfect storm. Well, uh, just to summarize this week, we're going to be discussing a ton of Samsung news, and not just because I'm a Samsung girl. Seriously, there's a lot going on in that company. Uh, we're going to talk about the Amazon tablet. We're going to talk about a new app called Life is Crime that I really like. And in the arena, we're going to compare a few lock screen replacement apps. I'm sure... Uh, I'm sure I'm not going to win. So, uh, <laughs> Chad, <laughs> we're going to news. All right, this first story is something that actually I found in G Plus via Aaron. And uh, it, it, we know uh, this wasn't going to take too long, but apparently Cyanogen is on its way to the touchpad, and we have a little video of that. I mean, surprise. That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. and this video, um, Chad, if you pull it up, is a uh, video from last week, so I'm assuming that they've done a lot more since then. Uh, and what we're seeing here on the video, if you're listening to audio, is um, the touchpad screen, and we're seeing a ton. Oh, now we're seeing the Cyanogen uh, logo. Right. So, uh, Aaron, you're the one, first one that uh, broke the news to me. Uh, yeah. Thoughts on this? I know you didn't get a touchpad. Right, right. I really wanted to get a touchpad, and my order was canceled because they ran out. Uh. Um, I can talk a little bit about that as well, but um, this is actually the first uh, evidence I've seen of of, of a ported Android actually running. I mean, there was, uh, there was a few tablets out there that had some sort of stock build on them that came from the factory, whatever. But this is actually Cyanogen um, mod running on a tablet. And, you know, it's obviously, if you've watched the video or if you're watching it now, it's obviously, um, they, don't, they don't have the touchpad driver working, so mm -hmm. they can't interact with it. All, all it's really doing is booting into uh, the default desktop. So, uh, but it's really cool. They, they actually, what they say is that what they want to do is have uh, multi-OS support. So that you can actually multi-boot into WebOS or that would be uh, cool. Yeah, or Android. That or, is very cool. Exactly. So you know, if what if you don't like it, or if it's not working, or you know, it's going to be buggy for a while when you know they first start uh, releasing the. Um, uh, uh, versions that actually you can do something with. So it's going to be buggy for a little bit, and then. Uh, but if you can multi-boot, then you can always boot back to WebOS. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it should be really, really cool. So um, 
Very exciting, very exciting. And I'm really bummed now that I didn't get a tablet. I was like, ah. Oh. I, missed that f I missed that frenzy. I, I totally missed out on it. You did too? I, yeah, Were you, want, would you yeah. have bought one? I totally would have. Yeah, I totally would have. Oh, yeah, it's only $99. Yeah. 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 99 yeah. Or, or 150 I think I was literally, well, I was in the yeah, car the driving in Manhattan. Up now. And I saw the tweet. The yeah. price is up? Well, people are people are reselling them on eBay for like ridiculous, oh, yes. exorbitant yeah. prices. Yeah. yeah, there was that eBay drawing that sold yeah. supposedly sold for almost a hundred thousand dollars. That right. kind of thing. So right. Yeah, that's crazy. People are going crazy. Indeed. Well, in terms of talking about crazy, um, <laughs> so uh, these are the days of our lives. Exactly. Pat, you said that it, this, yeah. this next story is a soap opera. It is. It's yeah. just like a soap opera. I was gonna say. I feel like every week it's just we gotta check in with the patent drama. Right. It's like, yeah, that's what we should call the soap opera. But so now uh, news broke that Samsung has decided to delay the launch of the Galaxy Tab 10.1 in Australia. Um, tons of pat patent infringement battles with Apple, um, particularly that are happening. This seems the battlefield is Australia and. Uh, they, uh, Samsung announced that they would not be marketing the new tablet before September 30th, mm. um, which is, you know, again, the, you know, Samsung probably playing it safe like, yeah. at this point, you know. Um, just these patent stuff is scary. But then related to that also, last week, um, the Dutch court, uh, Dutch court, that makes me laugh, grants, uh, <laughs> they granted Apple a preliminary injunction against sales of the Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Uh, in Dutchland. Where is Dutchland? Deutschland? No, Deutsch that's Germany. No, no, no. Dutch is um, Netherlands. Netherlands. Mm. I always get that mixed up. So then I apologize to anybody in the Netherlands. Um, but so, yeah, so, <laughs> I, so the Netherlands court granted a ruling on the merits and found just a single infringe patent in Android 2.3, which covers the behavior of Apple's iOS, iOS Photos app. Android 3.0 devices like the Galaxy Tab 10.0 or 10.1 are affected, or unaffected, sorry. Um, so <clears throat> we're getting down to the individual patents here, which I think is yeah. fascinating, you know. Yeah. Any thoughts on this, Nicole? You know, it's interesting because, you know, I mean, I'm sure, I mean, you've, you, you have a Galaxy Tab, right, Eileen? Yeah. And, you know, <clears throat> It's undeniable that there are some similarities, and you can kind of see why well, down this to pattern war. Down yeah. to the the, uh, the plug, power right? cord, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the power cord. <laughs> it's kind of interesting, and hopefully, you know, they'll work it out because it's obviously a back and forth situation at this point. And um, I don't know. It's very interesting. Like you say, it's like soap opera, pen wars, <laughs> yeah, pen drama. It really is. I mean, I mean, there's it's it's kind of interesting too, seeing all like the the previous art. Uh, arguments that Sam that Samsung oh, that, files. The, the and, whole Planet of the Apes thing, right? It, well, exactly. My favorite is the uh, my favorite is the Ten Commandments, right? Yeah. Right. Oh, what's the Ten? <laughs> they were they were tablets. You know, they were written on. They were portable, but very heavy. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were going to bring the 2001: A Space Odyssey up, and I'm like, wait, uh, what? Ten Commandments? I, I mean, that was a good one too. But yeah. I, I, someone someone on uh, uh, Google Plus brought up Ten Commandments. I'm like, oh yeah, tablets, right? <laughs> All the way. All right, Samsung, we're, we're handing that to you if you haven't already used it. Um, <clears throat> all right, and then uh, next story on the Amazon tablet, which I'm excited about, Nicole. Yes, so the Amazon tablet may be a reality. Um, there's this new news here from All Things D is that um, Amazon could sell 5 million tablets in three months. So there's, we don't, we don't have no, uh, no idea about the Amazon tablet at all, but we haven't even seen it at all. <laughs> like, we have no idea what it looks like. This Big actually, C, it, actually it actually reminds me a little related to my day job, but uh, how Sony announced <laughs> the second Spider-Man movie is going to release in 2014 when the first one hasn't come out yet. Right. <laughs> yeah. So they just have, know it's going to be a hit. They know it's going to be great. We have no idea yeah. what it looks like, no. anything, anything about this tablet. And they're saying that Amazon <laughs> could sell 5 million tablets in three months. You see, I don't, I don't, do you question it, Nicole? I mean, do you think that they won't? I think they're Amazon. They've I got think cloud. they will, too. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. It, well, it depends on the price, right? It depends on how, mm. how much they're going to price this tablet. Right, I and mean, that's basically what it comes down to. Yeah, they talked about this on Twitter um, yesterday on Sunday, and um, a lot of signs were pointing, or at least what Genius Report was saying, that it's going to undercut Apple's iPad. You know, if it's what two ninety nine, it's probably going to be more than a Kindle. Sure. Um, of what I'm worried about, you know, they were talking about the hardware. They were talking about how, oh, you know, it's probably going to be heavy. It's going to be this, but it's going to give you Amazon Prime. It's going to have the store. You can, you're going to have all the Amazon mm -hmm. stuff that I use all the time. I don't know about you guys, but yeah. I use yeah, tons. Video, music, video, music oh, sure, everything. Sure. So, yeah, um, yeah I want to be able to play 
video that I buy. I just got the, uh, I just tweeted out that, hey, I got $5 on Amazon. So, uh, you know, tweet the Amazon. Well, I love Amazon. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. so, so, you know how kid, how they have the subsidized uh, pricing for some of the Kindles, the, yeah. the special offers Kindle? Mm -hmm. So, it would be really great if they had a special offers tablet. You know, like one of those things where, you know, you, you, you buy it cheaper but you have these ads supplementing the content yeah so that way you get a cheaper tablet and you get you know like special offer like five dollars for mp3 or something i don't know oh yeah. yeah right oh, It'd be done <laughs> that's why i'm really excited about this tablet um, they have a lot of they have a lot of clout and they could pull stuff like that yeah. and they can and they can play with the pricing as well you know like right. they're, they're, there's rumors that they're going to undercut the ipad right? yeah yeah and i think that they can take that hit because of everything else that they're selling you're going to be able to buy still buy your you know from your tablet go ahead and buy your dishes your you know yeah. makeup or whatever the heck <laughs> that you're sure. to buy. Why not? it's they're becoming they're, they're, they truly are becoming the walmart of the internet which but is, i mean you can do all that stuff oh, today, no. right. right well no but in a good way in a good <laughs> Way, not, well, because I, I, well, I don't think that they're—I don't think they're bullies like Walmart. Well, I don't want to yeah. get into the Walmart political okay. debate. Let's not get into it. No, right. I was just saying that. Um, I mean, you can do all this stuff today, so it's going to be yeah. interesting to see what the tie-in is, right? And there's got to be a tie-in somewhere. But you know, if you look at the way um, Android or uh, excuse me, Amazon is marketed right now, you can do all that stuff from your Android phone True. or from existing Android tablets. So what's going to be different about the Amazon Android tablet? That's exactly. going to, you know, that's that's the key here. And and I think the price is is a part of it. Mm -hmm. But you know, what is, what's going to be there? What's the what's the thing for them? How are cuz I think they can subsidize it if they can justify, "Hey, we're getting all this additional revenue from this tablet." Well, and I think that's a really good segue to an email Email that we got. Mm. Um, do we have an email bumper or no? Are we doing that? I don't know. Do do we, I, don't, I don't want to step on the bumper. <laughs> Chad's but, like, no. But okay. So we got an email from uh, Trevor uh, in Australia, actually, of all places, yeah. in the land of patents infringements. Um, Trevor <laughs> says, "Could someone with a bit of influence, such as you guys, please start a campaign to help uh, give Android tablets a generic name, something like GTab? What would be wrong with a Toshiba GTab or a Samsung GTab? After all, the a Apple iPad seems to work. As a fanboy, it would be great if I could just say, this is my GTab." As a matter of fact, I will do that from now on. Am I the only user who thinks this way? Thanks for the great show. You're welcome, Trevor. So, but Amazon brings a brand clout where even though Samsung's out there and Motorola and there's stuff like that, this is the they'll come up with some witty product name and it's got that brand association that's got a lot of power that Apple does, that like Apple does. Right. Um, and I think that's where the real value is. It can give a legitimacy to the tablet. Uh, the Amazon kind of tab. Yeah. A tab. A tab. Or maybe some word that we don't even know about. Like why does it have to be tablet? Right. Well, right, because yeah. they have the yeah. Kindle. Well, like so Kindle, I don't think they're yeah. going to call it the Kindle. They're going right. to call it something yeah. else. Um, at least I think so. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't if they call it like the Kindle A or you know because they did the Kindle D. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I if I was the product guy, I wouldn't do that because I wouldn't want a confusion yeah. around the products. But I w they have a good brand with the Kindle. That's true. I wouldn't be surprised if they if they make it the Kindle, the Kindle Tab MX or, or Kindle yeah. Tab Kindle or something tab. like that. Yeah, yep. exactly. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't think there'll ever be a unified descriptor though because no. yeah. you know it's just it's the way the market works. There's too many vendors. So all these vendors have their own names. They want to be unique. They mm -hmm. want to be. They want people to buy their products and not the other person's products. So unfortunately, it's just the nature of the territory with Android because, uh, you know, there's all these different manufacturers. They're yeah. always going to have different mm -hmm. names. So tablet is probably as, <laughs> as best as we're going to get in, in terms of an all-inclusive. Or just Android device. I mean, that's what yeah. I say. You know, when I'm doing right. stuff, it's like on your Android device. That way yep. it's not, not limited to phone or tablet or what, whatever it might be. Right. So I think Android is there's your name. Android. Right? Yeah, yep. my Android or my Droid. My, my Android, Android tablet, my Android phone. Yeah, yeah. My so. Android car. Mm. Android slate. <laughs> Android no, car I'm not would be feeling awesome. it. I'm not feeling it. I yeah. still think that there's a different name out there for that particular yeah. tablet. But anyways. I'm no marketing major. No, well, I, I know, I know. <laughs> All right, well, uh, next email is from Jim, who says, Hello, guys. Enjoy your show. I am trying to listen to you using Double Twist on my computer, but AAA does not show up in the podcast search. Why other Twitch stuff shows up but not your show? Please help. And you know what? I think I just have to send out an email. I, we've gotten a lot of requests about this, and I keep saying, Oh, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. Haven't gotten to it. I'll deal with it. Thank you very much, Jim. Hey, Double Twist, we'd like to be Yay, on your like search. Double twist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's move on to hardware. I just pulled a Jason. <laughs> we're, we're totally working without a net. I don't know. Totally well, did. usually he skips the email completely yeah. and goes straight to the ad. This time I completely skipped the ad. I was like, yeah, no, no, let's just move on. Well, you know what? We'll get to that in a little bit. Um, we'll thank our sponsor after we talk about some of these hardware specs. Uh, all right, Samsung reveals the Galaxy S LTE and the Galaxy Tab 
8.9 LTE prior to IFA. IFA is going right now, uh, going on right now at the conference out in Berlin. Uh, what do we think about these phones? Also, um, side note: no Samsung Galaxy S2 on Verizon, which is confirmed. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, you know. Okay, and another side note is that the North American Samsung side, Galaxy, side I know, side, side, side note, note. <laughs> the North American Samsung Galaxy S2 uh, announcement was supposed to be today, but because of Hurricane Irene, they went ahead and moved it to tomorrow. We'll probably talk about it on Friday's show, um, and I'll talk about why I love this phone, blah, 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 that kind of thing. So uh, the only thing that I'm going to say is that I don't really, I don't know, I know you love LTE, um, Nicole, but I'm not sad that I don't have that on my phone, or maybe I should mm -hmm. be, but I'm not right now. Uh, what are your thoughts on these two announcements, Nicole? Well, um, I am pretty, it's pretty interesting why they decided to not put um, the Galaxy S2 on Verizon. I mean, it sounds like Verizon said no to it because they had something up and we'll talk about else that. up their sleeve, which we'll talk about in a little bit. <laughs> uh, so I don't think that's too much of a downside. I mean, it is a little bit disappointing that they don't get the you know, the Galaxy S2 that you have. I mm -hmm. mean, but it sounds like they might get something better. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. But um, you know, it's it's it's, it's, a, it's a great looking phone, and uh, you know, I do like LTE, and the reason why I like that because it's it's a it's a forward thinking device, right? It's mm -hmm. future future proofing your device to run on on faster future, you know, networks that Verizon that's developed and AT&T hopefully in the future will develop as well and that's kind of why I'm into LTE and the reason that I've come a, I'm a little bit less excited about the tablet just because they have a 10.1 Galaxy Tab mm -hmm. and they have a 7.7 .7 Galaxy Tab <laughs> so this is like hmm what else can we make 8.9 <laughs> I mean it just seems like okay another size is a couple of inches smaller i mean i don't know it's i'm a little bit weird about the 8.9 galaxy tab like why couldn't they just make it 10.1 or something anyway <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know it just seems like a weird category I, I think it's i think it's very odd as well and i think that uh i mean to me that reads as like a supplier issue or they got a better deal from somebody you know to supply the screen except yeah. oh sorry it's 8.9 inch okay you know you take fine. what stock you can get I mean, yeah, like, exactly. yeah, yeah they could i mean because we've we've seen apple buying up all the flash memory like we've seen stories mm -hmm. of that maybe they the samsung's already got all the 10.1s they're going to another uh, distributor they've got eight inch screens you know who knows you know, yeah. so. Yeah, because at least the seven inch you can kind of hold it in your hands. And okay, then if you decide, oh no, I want the the wider screen. Okay, fine, I'll get the ten. But then no, but I want it a little smaller. But I want a little smaller. <laughs> There's a sweet spot the, here somewhere. Yeah. The specs are pretty impressive, though, right? The you know dual core processor, mm -hmm. Android three point two Honeycomb, which is pretty welcome to see on the Galaxy Tab, and you know the Galaxy S two is no really great specs as well as you know, Eileen, mm -hmm. and the speeds should hopefully keep up with um, the processor and everything. So I mean, I think it's a good sign. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, you know, that doesn't that doesn't end our Samsung news quite yet. Right, right Ron? <laughs> yes, it does. So in terms of ours, uh, ver it's a little more Verizon news, which is interesting as well, and Samsung. Um, so everybody's scrambling to know what is going to be the first ice cream sandwich phone out there. And it looks like it's probably going to be on Verizon. Um, and it looks like it's going to be the Samsung Droid Prime. So um, is this different than the Nexus Prime that we've been talking about for weeks? I don't think so. You think it's the same? Anybody else? So I, I heard that it was different, but then when you look at the specs, uh -huh. it's exactly the same. That's, so that's it's di thought. it's yeah. different because it's called it's called the it's Droid called Prime. The, okay. Right. Okay. Let's talk about let's talk about the name a little bit. Yeah. Here we go. It's a Samsung phone, but they're calling it the Droid Prime. So this is all going along with the whole Google is, buying Motorola and no. saying that um, we aren't going to like stay away from Samsung and HTC, you know, suppliers as well, right? This is kind I don't, of no, I don't think so. I think this is I think this is Verizon Ver Verizon built the brand of droid yes. and they happen yeah. to have partnered with Motorola first and now they're yes. partnering with Samsung right yeah so it's very interesting to me because if you remember they had another phone called the HTC droid incredible right yep. and that was an HTC phone mm -hmm. not not a Motorola that's true phone, Correct. that's true right but it was a little bit confusing, I think, to the everyday consumer. They're like, oh, is it a Motorola phone? It's a droid, right? So it's, so it's a droid. So I think they're definitely owning the droid name. But it's interesting to me that they've put a, the droid name on a Samsung phone instead. Right. And it sounds to me like the interface will be very sort of, you know, touch whizzy. I mean, who knows, right? Yeah. Who knows, who knows? If Verizon's, Verizon's interface are on it or not. Um, but I think this is the reason why they, they pass on the Galaxy S2. Yeah. Yep. Right? Yep. 
I think similar it, specs and everything. It makes it makes sense, and I, I agree. I don't think there's any difference between the the Nexus Prime that we've been seeing. It's just a branding thing. And mm -hmm. go back if you look in the legal text of the Motorola Droid or the Verizon Droid ad so far. Droid is a trademark of Verizon, not of Motorola. So this isn't a surprise at all. It's just a more, it's just a branding thing. Right. Um, I think it's the same phone. Yeah, the specs yeah. are the same, right? It, it, it probably is. is. Yeah. But it's, it, yeah. it's also running ice cream sandwich though, which is yep. a big deal. Yes, that's um, true. Yep. But you know, is this so. going to be a Google phone? No, well, no. This is a this Verizon is not the, phone. This is a Verizon. Yeah, it's a Verizon phone. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, and so that confused. might be the difference. <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. that the difference? That, no, that might be the difference, right? Yeah. I mean, exactly. there will be a Google ice cream there will, sandwich. There will be a Nexus Prime. No, but it's going to be the Nexus Prime by Samsung. Okay. It's the same thing. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Thank but you for brainstorming with me. Right. <laughs> yeah, but if it's not running, if it's not running stock Google, right. then, then that's the difference. Yeah, exactly. So there will be a Nexus Prime. And it's going to have some Samsung-y red, red eye, HAL-like graphic on it, right? No, no, no. Yeah, well, th this one will. Yeah. Then there yeah. should be a pure one somewhere right. coming yep. from somebody. I yep. would think Motorola. Um, maybe not. Well, no. it's, it sounds like it's going to be the same. I mean, I, I would be surprised if we see any Google-branded Motorola devices this quickly. This it quickly. just happened, right? I mean, it just like, yeah. happened. So well, and the, then they're they're yeah. rushing this out because the iPhone yeah. 5 is coming out. We talked about this last week. Right. Um, and we just hope that ice cream sandwich is as good as it should be and not rushed right. out yeah, like right. honeycomb was that's this is the last to, to, to a lot of people it seems like this is the last it's like the great white hope well it's it's your, hope. version four <laughs> if you're it's a developer though, yeah, yeah, especially sure, if you're a developer yeah. i mean you don't want to have to develop different for different screen sizes anymore right yeah. yeah and so this is like the holy grail for for android developers yeah. well let's just hope to get it right we'll see but uh let's what about jason's next phone nicole <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I don't know. I don't know what Jason's next phone is. I don't know if it'll be this one or another one. Um, but yes, the Verizon Wireless is exclusively launching. Oh, hold on a second. Different story right here. Um, <laughs> Verizon Wireless, sorry. The Droid Bionic, the phone that was announced back in January. Let's remember. <laughs> yeah. Let's remember. This phone was announced in January it's this CS. year. It's yeah. CES. <laughs> But looks, it looks like Motorola is finally ready to pull the plug and say, okay, September 8th, it's coming out. The Droid Bionic is dual core processor and 4.3 inch QHD display and 4G LTE. It's, it'll be ready by September 8th, nine months after it was announced. Well, they got to make sure it's perfect. Uh, you know, like <laughs> so what's the date today? Today's the 29th. Today's the 29th. 29th. Yeah. So we've got 10 days. Jason Howell might be getting a phone, new phone in 10 days, unless he's going to wait the another Jason month. The Jason countdown. <laughs> well, he could He could, he could wait for the Droid Prime. That's he what is I'm on saying. Verizon, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He's, supposed to be yeah. October, so. he's totally going to wait for the Droid Prime. <laughs> we lose. I bet you, because he's going to go to Ice Cream Sandwich. Yeah, totally I know. I, I don't know why you yeah. would get the Bionic at this point if, if, the, if the Prime is definitely I blame Motorola. Good. Um, and for losing our portion of the bet. If they'd released the phone when they said they would, then we would have had I'm it. just saying, when, back in January, <laughs> just, just remember, back in January, the Droid Bionic was like the only dual core processor with the QHD display. And yeah. Was, yep. You know, the only phone with LTE and dual core. Now there are so many of them. Yep. Like a dual core phone is just like, you know, any other phone on Verizon. <laughs> and it's just like, okay, what's so special about you now? Yeah. All right. It's crazy. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, we've got another email here from Craig who says, Dear AAA gang, you are my favorite Twitch show. Wow, thank Yay. you so much, Craig. Uh, I like to watch video podcasts while I'm on my indoor bike. Uh, when watching a Netflix movie, I noticed that if I tap the screen, I could see the notification area. This is great because then I can see the icon for the timer for my workout. I use Dog Catcher for my podcast client, but it doesn't support this feature yet. However, it can use an external program to play videos. Do you know of a program that does this? I thought I was maybe giving you the right answer, but I don't know if this is the answer that you want. Um, <laughs> I just read a, a, an article from Lifehacker. It was uh, touting Bird Bar, uh, a notification um, app. And uh, Which I, is less than of the uh, a function of the player and more of a notification. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is yeah. not quite what I think I should have. Um, I had a feeling that I was like, God, am I, am I giving you the right um, uh, uh, tip or not? Right. And um, I'm not sure it's that tough. I am. I, I, wonder, yeah. I was, I was just going to say, I was just looking at um, 
and video player to see if it was. Uh, I was just doing the same thing. I have them on the Zoom tablet. Mm -hmm. I have got a couple of video media players. I don't have them on my phone, but um, I can't remember whether the notification bars are yeah. visible on those. And, and video. What I do is I download. I use Dogcatcher to download everything, but yeah. then I watch it in video player. Yeah. Uh, and, so and then you see your notification. You don't. Oh, you don't. Unless okay. there's an option, a hidden option that I didn't see. I just I was just checking and I didn't see it there. So yeah. uh, that is a nice feature, though. I agree. That would be cool. Yeah. yeah that's so if. if Anybody who's a developer is listening. We want that. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably get a couple emails, and uh, we will uh, follow up on our feedback episode coming up on Friday. So, yes, let's go ahead and go to our ad. We'd like to uh, thank um, our sponsor, Netflix, for sponsoring all about Android today. You guys use Netflix, yeah? Of course. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't use Netflix? Can't live without it. Nicole, do you use you, 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 you use it? Nicole? Oh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> I don't know why I was stepping all over my words. Uh, all right, well, Netflix, of course, um, you could stream. You can, um, you know, get the DVDs. I mostly stream, uh, and I have been watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Not can't and go wrong Angel, there. Yeah. Uh, and awesome. catching up. Yeah, what about you, Ron? What have you been watching? I, I Whenever I travel, I just, uh, oh, no, what it was. I was stuck in the airport, and I had hours to wait, and it was like <laughs> it was like 1 in the morning, and I pulled up Mystery Science Theater 3000, and I watched oh. the MST. 3K. That was that nice. way. entertained me for. I fell asleep and uh, dropped drop my tablet and it was. It was uh, but um, you but fell no, it was great. There you well, know. that's the whole point of MST3K. You watch it after midnight, yeah, and you fall asleep watching. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you know, Netflix is also really great for catching up with like documentaries you never really have the chance to catch in the theaters. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. and like I, I watched so many documentaries this way. Like yesterday, I watched um, Freakonomics. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Like, it's like the documentary version of you know the popular uh, book. That's great. And it's like really great to watch and I really liked it. They also get recent releases, like I saw as we were scrolling by. One of my favorite movies of last year, Step Up 3D, was is on Netflix, which is what? which is awesome. Step Up 3D. It I was, have never seen those. It was movies. hysterical. It was <laughs> have you seen all of them? No, like, I know. I, I walked into this, I walked onto the franchise blind. Just Step Up 3D was my first experience. Is it because it was 3D? That's why you decided was, to watch Step Up no, 3D? No, it was just it was just ridiculous. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Just, yeah, yeah, so everybody in the chat room. I know they're freaking Step out. Step Up 3D. Yeah. Aaron, hysterical. how about you? What, did you watch anything? Uh, oh yeah, so I'm into. 80s, old, 80s classics. Nice. We, we, actually, we've been watching a lot with my family because I've got younger kids, so we've been watching The Cosby Show cool. and Family Ties. That's cool. And you know what? They love it. It holds up. Oh, yeah, totally. They love oh, it. Oh, yeah. It's you like know. my daughter's favorite show is Cosby Show right now. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's cool. Just she didn't get freaked out by the clothes. Theo. Or anything oh, like she that. does. The hairstyles and stuff. She's like, why is her hair like that? <laughs> the sweaters. Why is her hair like that? The why sweaters. Are, yeah, the old oh. sweaters, like different colors and yeah. stuff. But uh, yeah, it's awesome. I'm actually watching the art of the steel right now on my phone chad do you see that right here That's very maybe cool. maybe it's a documentary i don't know if you've seen this one nicole uh i actually haven't finished it because i wasn't feeling well <clears throat> had too much to drink the night before and thought <laughs> i would be able to watch a documentary the very next day yeah too much information so i started watching some abc family show instead but anyways cool. here's the uh netflix uh, android app and uh looks That's, really looks really good for your free 30-day trial go to netflix.com slash twit uh to try it out or if you you know tell someone about it if you already have netflix and uh we thank them for their support of all about android i like that i actually encourage people to debate the step up movie franchise in the chat room someone's <laughs> like oh i saw this i saw the first two i didn't like the third and you know, they're not they're not good movies they're not good what well, about the dancing? Is it good? Yeah, I'm not really into dancing. Oh. I, don't, I don't even know. I saw it in the theater, too, which is crazy. But anyway. Um, all right, so. What? And then you rewatched it on Netflix? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, I'm learning all about Ron. Irony goes far. Okay. Uh, it's time to uh, go over some apps. Cool. So I haven't lost the respect of everyone <laughs> watching or listening to the show. Um, a an app category that has become very quickly near and dear to my heart is the messenger kind of services. Oh, I didn't is, know you like this. Yeah, okay. I've been I've been in well because my brother in law's on a BlackBerry, my sister's on an Android, and oh. and I have friends that are in Europe and you know SMS charges and all these sort of things. And plus group messaging. Once you go group messaging, you can't go back. Like once you get like four, mm -hmm. you know it's great. You know it's South by a lot of people are doing yep. group messaging and Beluga came out and things like that. Um, and 
And recently I was on App Judgment on Revision 3 debating mm -hmm. Facebook Messenger, same similar kind of category whether mm -hmm. Facebook Messenger would play. Now it looks like Samsung is getting into the mix. Uh, their chat on Messenger uh, is uh, promising to unite Android, BlackBerry, and iOS users into one messaging platform, which I feel like everybody's trying to do now with these messaging platforms. Yeah, do you think and, this one will yeah. get lost in the fold? Well, or, or because mean, it's Samsung, and because it's cross-platform people, and it's free. Because the thing is, yeah, what they're mm -hmm. going to do is they're going to put it on all their devices. So right. they've got they've got that much of a of a leg up. Mm -hmm. And then if you get somebody who has a Samsung phone and then convinces their friends on an iOS or mm -hmm. a BlackBerry to use it, because all the, the key thing with these kind of applications is that it's only as good as the people that are yeah, using it. Yeah, exactly. So if you don't have any friends on it, they're not going to use it. Whether or not it's going to compete with BBM, which has a huge um, you right. know, kind of uh, foothold. Yeah. Facebook Messenger, which has a huge foothold um, yeah. after just coming out very quickly, and even though I have complaints about them, that app. Um, and then <laughs> there are rumors that uh, part of the, uh, the new iPhone launch is going to be iMessenger. Right. Um, so we're kind of, this is also interesting because we're kind of seeing the death of SMS. Mm. Um, because it's all being handled mm -hmm. via these applications. It's so expensive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I'm tired of paying. I'm sure tons of people are tired of paying the extra, what, $10 a month for unlimited. Now, the, the tough thing, though, is, is that I can't, I can't guarantee, personally, me, I can convince my friends to get on the Samsung app. Mm. If they're yeah, already, exactly. you know, yeah. like, you what, know. Are, what are you using right now? I'm actually using GroupMe. Oh, okay. Yeah, which, which is... Which Skype just bought, right? Uh, no, not GroupMe. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm using WhatsApp. Oh, WhatsApp. Yeah, that's WhatsApp. very popular. Yeah, because too. that was the mm -hmm. first one that I found that was also available for BlackBerry to get my mm -hmm. brother-in-law up on it. But um, uh, but I'm actually thinking about moving to Facebook because everybody's all on Facebook. Right. It's all there. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Facebook. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I just don't have enough <laughs> friends that have smartphones or, yeah. or, or or maybe they have a smartphone, but they're not smartphone literate yeah. enough to know how to use it, you know, so it's yeah. like... Yeah. So yeah. you're not using any either? No, not yeah. really. Yeah. Not really. I mean, Most of my communication happens either, um, well, on Facebook and now through Google+. Plus. You know, two Facebooks a lot of times. Yeah. Um, that's yeah, that's we have how huddle. Most of my, yeah, <laughs> yeah, huddle. Yeah, exactly. The huddle yeah. is the same thing. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, all those things I think are I think are more useful for me. And, and it all comes down to what your needs are. I mean, like um, like I was saying, a South by Southwest or a Comic Con. This it was great to be able to send one broadcast message. Like you set a group and be like, hey, dinner at this place, and it yeah. just goes out to everybody <laughs> and comes in. Yeah, yeah, I think I think the Samsung chat on app is a good idea in theory, but I do agree with you that it can be. It's a little bit maybe too obscure for most people to uh, to even discover it, really. Whereas something like Google Plus or Facebook Messenger, like you said, it's a little bit more mainstream, you know? Yep. And they can they can download it easier and it's more visible in the marketplace. Yeah. So we'll see, we'll see how it does. But I mean, I don't blame them. They have enough yeah. devices in the in the marketplace. You know, right. It's exactly. gonna be out of the box. So maybe they'll get they'll get some people using it. And maybe they'll have a killer feature, I mean, that yeah. we just don't know about yet. Right. Yeah. I mean, if, if, if that's what it's gonna take. Some yeah. killer feature that everyone's like, oh, I've gotta have and that. And it changes the and game. it changes yeah. the game, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Game yeah. changer is what it's all about. Yep. Well, I think that's gonna come out uh, pretty soon. And I think they're kind of debuting it out at IFA, which we uh, spoke about IFA. earlier today, IFA in Berlin. Uh, so, but Nicole, you've got some uh, sad news, right? Very, very sad news. Wow. So, um, Google, you know, they're not all, they don't always have the best history with the companies they purchase. Um, Slide, the social apps company that Google bought over a year ago, I want to say, for about $200 million, will be dissolved. And its uh, leader, Max Levchin, uh, will depart Google as well. I'm not surprised. And all of this. the apps are kind of gone as well. Okay, yeah. So all of the apps, which include uh, disco, pool party, Photovine, which I was very excited. I have an iOS device, and I was Photovine very excited. Photovine launched last week, right? It launched last week, and I was like so excited. I thought, oh yeah, they're going to have an Android app. Awesome! I can't wait till you know everybody joins up. Nothing. No. Done. And pool party, which I have which to, we uh, with. yeah, we I played with. I have to mm -hmm. thank Andronica at Andronica for uh, giving me an invite. Chad, you could uh, check out my uh, phone here. I'm gonna go to pool party eventually. Hypothetically. Hypothetically. <laughs> there we go. All right. So uh, pool party looks like this, and it was basically um, a photo sharing app, and you build little pools uh, with some people. We have an all about Android pool here, and we had some photos that we were sharing. We were going to do a full review of this. I mean, there's kind of no point now because it was very uh, slidey. It was very from what Slide yeah. originally did. Remember, Slide was originally um, ways was to like share a photos. Show, it was way, yeah, way to share photos on MySpace. That's how they started. Mm -hmm. I know. Um, you know what? I'm not surprised by this, and I think it's less about the apps and more about Google. And this might be more appropriate for this week in Google. But I think this these are signs of the times under Larry's uh, CEO. Uh, I think he's mm -hmm. really. You know, streamlining what they're working on and saying, you know, they got rid of labs, they got rid of all these other, you know, things that people did before him, and he's just saying we're going to focus on, you know, these five core things, and it's, you know, search, I mean, it social, kind of, you know, like yeah. it's, it's, I think it's part of that rededication. 
But it kind it, of makes sense, I have to say, in terms of Google's overall strategy at this point, because they did launch Google Plus recently, and you would think they they would want their photo app to integrate with Google Plus, right? Or to or with whatever Picasa is going to be. Yeah, um, I guess I thought one of these apps would integrate. I mean, look at this oh, app, yeah. Pool Party. Look at it's like G Plus. Well, just because right. they Deadpool, it the doesn't mean that they're not going to pick the pick the pieces. Yeah. Yeah, they might yes. use that interface as the new interface this for would the, be the nice. Google Plus. It's a app. very nice interface. Yeah. It's a really nice interface. Yeah. But yeah. you know, when you have overlapping technologies like that, I mean you can only yeah. go so far before you have to make mm. a decision, you know, and even though they paid two hundred million dollars for this company, yeah. it's kind of a waste. Yeah. Um uh, <laughs> you know. Well but, but, maybe, but, but maybe not. They probably I mean they got they got a lot of technology, they got a lot of, you know, they talent. Got talent. talent. Right. They got, yeah, they got, that was I'm the reason why. And I'm not surprised that Max Levichin left. I mean, he probably stayed the minimum he had to stay. He's not the type for I mean like he's the guy who one of the pay, the original PayPal mafia and all that sort of stuff so he's he's gonna go off and do something else and make more money and that's what that's what he's gonna do but they got talent they got a bunch of stuff and then they're going to <laughs> focus the products they have and make I think make them better I mean it's it, you know it's I, I'm not surprised that's basically that's that's what mm -hmm. it boils down to mm -hmm. so. Okay, well, moving on, I just have one uh, app tip for the week, and it is a new game out there. And all of you out there who have Android phones, I want you to join my mob. I want you to join Life is Crime. <laughs> it is a free game out there. It was released um, outside of, it just came out this weekend via PAX, the Penny Arcade Expo that was up in Seattle. And uh, again, it's free. Um, it's location based, and it's a massively multiplayer online mobile game for Android. And uh, Chad, you want to take my screen here? Here. So here I am, I'm Eileen TV, join my mob, I've got uh, 126 reputation points, I'm going to collect some money right now. It's kind of like when you're playing, it's like, um, what is that, Mafia Wars in a, in, in a way. And so uh, when I launch here, I've got some news that um, I'm looking at for all the various people in my mob, what, uh, who they're killing, who they're robbing. Um, I know this sounds really morbid, but it's actually <laughs> kind of fun. So um, what I do when I click into the map section, so here I'm in Petaluma, and I see all of these different um, oh, that's cool. see places. So And Ooh. these are actually places that are here, around here. Uh, so Investors Trust, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to rob them right now. Um, and then you get some experience Wait a points. This is, be, this is being broadcast here. You're not, well, this is a game, everybody. This is not real. This is a game. So sure. just rob them. And then let yeah. me search them, too, because sometimes there's some contraband in there. Okay, there's no oh. items in there right now. That's too bad. Uh, and then you can go into, uh, oh, Polly Ann Bakery, OMG Thug. I can think that's him? Chad. I think, uh, well, he's in my mob, so I'm not going to fight him, but I am going to steal and try and uh, be number one. No, I'm not number uh. one quite yet. But, yeah. Yeah, actually, you can go and find people and, and fight them. So the way I find them is I go into the news section and I find certain... Who's Dirty Bird? Let's try and... <laughs> he was on a killing spree, but this is what the... Oh, I think I'm going to lose. This guy is really strong. Uh, he's uh, another level above me. So if you want to fight, then you hit fight. And then you can see here, I'm on the left side, Eileen TV. There's me in my gangsta outfit, and there's Dirty Bird. I'm That's so awesome. going to lose. Okay, so I've got my gun. He's got his crowbar. A nightstick. It looks like a nightstick. nightstick? All right, whatever. He's fighting you with so a crowbar. I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight. <laughs> Ooh, I damaged him. And then you nice. just keep fighting. You keep fighting Ooh, until, the, until he goes to the hospital. This and you violent, get. Man. Yeah, it's kind of violent, but it's, you know, <laughs> I kind of equate it to, like, what, Grand Theft Auto? Oh, no. No, that's all right. You're still doing so, it. Yeah, well, going. actually, I want to go back because what I want to do do is no 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 see you shop for items see the, the thing i forgot to do first was i need to go and upgrade my armory right uh -huh. so i want to go ahead and buy so i've got three hundred sixty-two thousand dollars. i want to get this stun taser that i've been waiting for so there i'm going to get it and then i'll go back and and uh, get that guy and and shoot him later isn't this fun is this making any sense to those of you watching in, in audio and then yeah then so you can you're fighting this guy in the middle of the fight you're like hold on a second i have to hold on i need to buy new, i need to buy a new brass knuckle <laughs> i just did very realistic <laughs> it's so realistic i'm gonna come back at you so stay right there wait, so this, I'm gonna go get an AK this game is called life is crime life is crime <laughs> yeah and it's free and i have 14 people in my mob right now join it uh yeah and it's just like like mafia wars so then yeah you've got various achievements that you could uh uh, that you do and you get extra XP points or um, oh, this, is uh, a, this is a sign of the deterioration of our society <laughs> I have deteriorated, yes, yeah. into, and yes, and then CISO, they had this big um, oh, they have a PAX, PAX thing, thing smart, which is, you know, it's smart. over, um, yeah. but yeah, then they have other um, uh, uh, 
stuff. Uh, stuff to, you know. <laughs> Laundering business. Wow. La yeah, you launder, you loiter, These are you quests, steal. Basically? These are date. Yeah, there you go. Quests. But I don't think they call it quests. They call it like. Um, I don't know what they call Experience. it. Experience. <laughs> Experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so anyways, I think it's kind of fun. Uh, join it, and it's free. And it's Android only to start. I think they're going to uh, open it up to iOS later. So I think that's kind of cool for those of us. Cool. And yeah. I think their whole point was, oh, it's location-based. You don't have to check into, uh, you know, Foursquare anymore. Use this. I don't know that I'm, that's going to happen to me. <laughs> that, I'm still going to use Foursquare. <laughs> but um, I'm having fun, and uh, join it. Yeah. Cool. Foursquare should totally, like, buy this app and... Integrated into Foursquare, you know, oh, yeah. and, but like That'd not really mandatory. Cool. Like has a bit because you yeah, remember yeah. playing Assassin? Did you play that? Uh, like a little we, bit. Yeah. We did that yeah. like in college and yeah. summer camp, mm -hmm. yeah, stuff like yeah. that. Stuff like that where you tag people. Right. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. So it could be fun. Kind of cool. All right. Cool. All right. Well, moving on to our last email, uh, Ron. Yes. Uh, email comes from uh, Marius, who says that he doesn't use his unlocked password for his Nexus S and wants to know: Is there a way to disable the lock screen and have it go straight to the currently running app while resuming? Um, and thanks for making such a good show. We're all great. So, Eileen, you're great. Oh, you're so great. Um, thank you, Marius. Um, <laughs> so, th this actually made me, I had to think about it because I'm like, wait a minute, he doesn't use his, he doesn't use an unlocked password. So, is there a way to disable the lock screen? I was like, what is he, t and then I realized because I use a password and then I disabled mine. I said, oh, right, you still got to do the slidey right. thing. Right. So, uh, we actually found in the Android Marketplace there is an application called No Lock, um, which looks like it's exactly what you want, which basically lets you disable the lock screen. Very simple. Very, so. very simple. I think there's a, a few other yeah. apps, but this one seems uh, to be highly rated. There's like 6,174 five-star ratings here. So yeah. uh, wow. I don't think you can go wrong. So Marius, you're going to want to check that out. Yeah. And it's good. It's, I think it's compatible all the way back to 1.5. Oh, that's, that's nice. great. So I think like, anybody can use it. Yeah, yeah. it's so yeah. hard. You know, that, that's, we get complaints a lot um, that I can't use it on my phone. I'm using an older generation phone. So finally, we have an app that if you want to use it, there you go. Or have. if you're hardcore and you've rooted your phone, you can just go in and delete the, uh, yeah. the, the lock screen app. Right. And it never comes up again. Okay. So I'm, just, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's, that's an option. But, um, <laughs> but you're going to want to stay tuned because we're going into the Android arena and there might be some applications that do similar things or might, things you didn't even know could, they could do with the lock screen. So well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and jump into the arena. To enter, one lives the Android arena. Whoa. All righty. <laughs> Thank you for that extra fire, explosion. Fire. Explodey. Um, yeah, this week we're facing off with lock screen replacement apps. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and take a look at last week's poll. We were doing the cloud. I did not lose. You did not lose. I did not lose. Because you were not here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gaming the system. That's what I'm, I'm experimenting. I'm, uh, you know, so I didn't so, lose. So, uh, Chad, let's take a look at the poll. Dropbox wins by a landslide. Shocking. I didn't lose too terribly uh, with Sugar Sink at 20%. I actually took Jason State. I took um, Idaho there, but he got everything else. And uh, Walla is big in o Ohio, I guess. And <laughs> Box.net is living large in South Dakota. So uh, thanks for everyone for voting there. But kind of knew that Dropbox was going to run away with it. I mean, I use Dropbox all the time. I was trying to pump Sugar Sink, but uh, honestly, I really do use Dropbox. But you use Sugar Sink. I, we, I use SugarSync very briefly. We used um, oh, okay. we used I, I, we used Dropbox at work for my for my job to share f yeah. uh, files. And for some reason, we switched to SugarSync because I think my VP or VP of Tech wanted to switch it, and then they switched back to Dropbox. So I don't know oh. why. That's not a condemnation on SugarSync. It's just the, <laughs> I think there was something in the configuration or something. I like SugarSync. Yeah. Um, it's just you know the toolbar uh, app for Dropbox where you can just drag and drop. Oh, it's so easy. Yeah. That's what I like the most. I like the find, uh, I'm on OS X, but the Finder implement, implementation where, okay. I, where Dropbox is just a, it's another folder. And I can, mm -hmm. you know, so it's like there's nothing special. It's just a part of it. And SugarSync had that as well. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, let's talk about lock screen replacement apps. And I'm um, going to get enthused about this, going to pump my app. But I'm going to toss it to you, Aaron, first, uh, because you are uh, stepping in for Jason, who's not here, and you're going to uh, show his app and actually uh, show another one as well, right? Right, right. So I've got two. So the first one is an app called Lock Menu. Um, and <clears throat> I'm going to show this one on my Nexus One. Uh, basically, it allows you to have not just the locking mechanism where you slide, but but it's also integrated several other apps that you can use um, in place of that. So, so there it is right there. So you can see one of the first things I did was I went in and set up a camera app. Oops, got to keep it. Unfortunately, it times out pretty quickly. But I set up a camera app so that if I want to go right to my camera, I can just slide it across 
and yeah. use my camera. <laughs> and so it's a lot quicker. And there's a, there's some other apps that do that too. Um, but you can see some of the default uh, ones that they have set up here. And there's a couple different options. You can actually, I mean, the nice thing is very configurable. So if you've got applications that you like and use all the time, then you can um, you can set those up. You can customize all that, and it's free. So. It's very cool. If you get the free version, they do have a little ad. It's ad supported. Yeah, so yeah. if you don't like the ads, you just pay for it and you're good to go. The camera lock screen is pretty cool. You can just unlock it to take, take a quick picture. And yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, and like go right too. back. And then there's even yeah. options like for that. There's an option to, uh, you know, you can take your picture and then it'll actually go back to the lock screen instead of going to the menu. So depending on how you like it, you can go to your home cool. screen or you can go back to the lock screen. So, yep, very configurable and, uh, and pretty nice. I like it. And you have another one that you wanted to show off, right? Oh, yeah. Let's do that one, too. So this one is a little bit different. This is on the uh, Samsung, maybe? There it is. <laughs> the Samsung um, uh, Nexus, Nexus X 4G. Thank you. And this one actually... Um, What's what it called? It, this one is called... Uh, is what lock? is this one called? I think it's, it's like LockBot. Uh, yeah, LockBot. LockBot. I was looking for it there. This is LockBot. And, and what LockBot does is they emulate the various lock screens on all of the, the various uh, devices. So mm -hmm. they have an iPhone lock screen, for example. <laughs> That's um, funny. Yeah, and it looks just like, like, the, like the iPhone lock screen. Or they have um, other ones. So you, the, right now it's in the free mode, which basically scrolls through all the different versions of the lock screens that, that are out there today for Android. Um, but if you pay for the pro version, oops, let me turn it off and on again. If you pay for the pro version, then you get access not only to, um, to specify which lock screen you want to have, but you also get the option to have background wallpaper. And they have some really nice background wallpapers as well. So just depending on what you, know, you want to do, it doesn't give you the option to put applications on the, on the lock screen, but it just basically gives you the, the ability to use whatever lock screen you particularly have an affinity towards. So. You know, it's funny, like, um, it, here at work, you know, at, at, at Cena, I review a lot of phones, and I'm like, oh, that's the HTC lock screen. Right, right. Oh, that's the Samsung lock screen. Like, it's so recognizable. It's kind of funny. Yeah, exactly. You, you, know, you know the phone by the lock screen. Yeah. Especially <laughs> the Samsung phones, because they all kind of look alike lately. At least the last batch, they all kind of look the same. Do you have the so. ring on the HTC ring one there? I do, it's but probably... I can't get it to come up on the free version. <laughs> well, because it, <laughs> it just cycles it rotates, through. Right? That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get it to come up on the ring. But it's not doing it. So. Okay, yeah, because the iPhone one, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, well, very cool. Lockbot and uh, locker, lock menu. Lock menu. Okay, uh, I have GoTo, which is the ultimate Android lock screen, according to In a Web Tech. And uh, there it is there. It's $1.49 uh, to purchase. And uh, it's pretty simple. I have it here on my screen right now. And... Um, what it what you can do? Ooh, there we go. Let's see if we can scoot back a bit. Chat. Okay, there we go. So this is what it looks like. Uh, you've got my name. I put my name on there, customized it. Uh, I have military time, date, and weather, and you can actually customize it and have you know sounds or no sound. And all it is is. Um, here you can go to your message, and if I had a message, it would pop up in that screen up there, but mm. I don't have any because I don't really do. <laughs> And then call log, you'd see who called you up there. And then you also have mail. Now, um, I don't have to use that. I can actually, let me go into settings here. So um, just to describe it, GoTo has a sort of arc on the bottom of your home screen, and you have three things, chat, call log and uh, mail but you can actually go into settings and change one of those um, uh, uh, the message or the uh, call log and you can actually oh geez I don't know what's happening here um, you could change any of those and make them um, here instead of the Gmail app uh, I can go ahead and choose to make it tweet droid pro but the thing about it is that the icon does not change it doesn't oh. change to oh. tweet droid so it just stays oh. now let's see if it goes to tweet droid yep there it, it goes to oh tweet droid. that's weird that's yeah. a bug yeah i know i don't know I, I, now that that's as simple as it gets for go to um it's kind of it's very elegant and very um you know it's kind of it's just very simple i you know i like what it does my only caveat for any of these uh lock screens at least mine that i've tried and i know lockbot as well is mm -hmm. that i actually like the lock screens of i use double twist all the time and it cancels out 
the double twist lock screen and I like having that huge lock screen and then if I'm driving all I have to do is push the button and it's already there as soon as I you know turn it on and wake up the phone um, this kind of erases that but if you um, are just tired of your lock screen and you want something different this is actually kind of a nice one it's very simple and you could change these too it won't you, you don't have to keep messaging you don't have to keep call log but you will always have those same um, icons there maybe in a future update they would change that that would be nice yeah yeah yeah. Cool. My turn? It's your turn, All Ron. Right. I'm, making a, I'm making an attempt to win here. All right. So um, <laughs> one of my favorite Android developers are the guys at uh, Tesla Coil Software, and they make the great Tesla, tes Tesla LED flashlight, which if you're not using that, that's an awesome flashlight, mm. and make a strobe light like a David Lynch movie. But um, they also made an app called uh, Widget Locker, which is what I took a look at uh, this week. And this possibly mo might be one of the most powerful lock screen Customizers, although it sounds like it has a lot of the similar things uh, that in the apps that we've looked at so far, but I was just overwhelmed with the number of um, uh, customization points and things that we could do with it. So looking at it here, um, actually we'll go here. So I've got it enabled. There you go. I need to, there you go. So I turn off my phone, and you can see this is my new lock screen. So you can see what I've got is I've got the slider, the the you know the Android slider, which we'll go back to it. I've also got. Um, I can go right to the phone from here, which is cool. I don't want to show people's phone numbers. And then... Um, Just blur all that, and, uh, Chad. <laughs> but then also what you see is that I've got a clock, I've got my Google Music uh, playback widget, and I've got application... Um, oh, that's nice. ...application shortcuts. So I can go, and it's kind of hard to see my background, but I can go right into SMS. I can go right into uh, my email. I can go right into the camera, right into a browser. Oh, right. that's really handy. Yeah, exactly. So um, that's really neat. Customization um, is really, really easy. What happens is that you can put it on this. You can put it in a mode where you can edit it. So basically, if I want to get rid of uh, something, it works the same way the Android OS works. If I want to add something, I just do a long tap, and I can add a custom slider, add application shortcuts, links to shortcuts, add widgets. So any app that is um, has a widget, you can add to the um, to the widget on the um, onto the lock screen. The custom sliders are neat because, like your guys' other ones, you can customize the look of them, and they've got a lot of the um, a lot of the popular ones. So there's an iPhone one, there, yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, so, right. That's funny. Um, there's uh, the the how do you pronounce Mui M I U I? Um, a lot of people like that one. Uh, Mui. Yeah. Uh, it's got the Moto version. Uh -huh. um, it's got uh, the Road Road one, right. which we know, you you know which we know about. Oh yeah, yep. And then um, and then it's also got the Sense you know, where you can pull down. Yep. Now, what's neat about it, though, also, is that you can customize, similar to the application, the first one we looked at, um, you can customize the applications that are triggered by here. So, for example, I don't, I don't care about turning the, the sound off, so I can swipe that, and I can say, okay, I want to change the application, and I'm going to, you know, I always use Twitter, so let me go down to Twitter, and, and I'll add that one. There's way too many apps on my phone. <laughs> you should have picked one that started with A. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Amazon. I love Amazon. So I can add Twitter, and it will change the icon. Oh. Oh, you nice. change well. the icon. See, go so, yeah. to, you got to do yeah. that. Yeah, so, <laughs> and actually it put it right there in that little spot because it's where I long tapped it. And so what's interesting is that you can, so if I want to get rid of, if I want to move the clock down here. Oh, very cool. And then let's say I want to make this one, um, this is kind of hard to do with the size, but I can do it with this one. Um, oh, people are predicting you're winning. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Win. <laughs> I haven't even gotten to the best parts of it yet. Um, but you can also, and I can't, I f can't trigger it now. But um, you can change the size of the slider, so you can make it stretch all the way across, oh, or make it a small cool. slider, or whatever. Yeah. So it's really, really neat. I like how um, you can just move them around. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, really it's cool. so flexible. Um, now, what's really cool though is that it has a ton of settings. Um, so what happens is that it's got themes as well. You can go download themes and extra things like that. But pretty much every, every complaint, oh my goodness. Yeah, every complaint about this app that I had, except yeah. for one, I addressed in the settings. I found a solution for in the settings. Oh, okay. So like in terms of buttons and inputs, you can you can lock the camera button. You can unlock it. You can unlock the trackball or unlock it. You could you know change allow the home button to work. Allow um, the call button to work. So you can trigger all the button the hard yeah. like yes. the, the physical buttons. Yep yep yep. Um, they have something. They have a whole system. It, when you launch the app for the first time, they walk you through and explain the difference between unlock and easy wake. Um, which is a whole, a whole settings uh, mode they have. So with Wake, the screen is off and then it turns on. But on Lock, the screen is on with the lock screen active. So this is the difference between the screen went off, but you want to go back to the app and not have the lock screen trigger. Right. That's cool. Right? Yeah, so you can, I like that. You can manipulate that. 
Um, you can manipulate the look and feel, so you can have a different wallpaper for your lock screen. You can change the background tint. Um, you can change the orientation of the lock screen if you want it to be horizontal versus okay. vertical or portrait versus landscape. You yeah. can get rid of the shortcuts. You can One thing I was like, what I noticed was when I locked my phone, and I go back to it, um, it also has a really cool thing here where it's got a five second rule. I'm where it, it, I'm sorry, it won't lock if uh -huh. you hit the button and hit it again after five seconds. It won't trigger the lock screen. Oh. Because it figures that you probably didn't want right. to go through yeah. the lock screen. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But um, what I thought was interesting, here's the lock screen. I was like, oh, but my notification bar is there. I don't want that. So all I got to do is unlock the phone. Okay. And I can go to go settings, to settings and, and I can go to look off. and feel and I can go to hide notification bar and it'll hide it. Um, you can change the wh whether it whether it vibrates or makes a sound or with the ringer or with the haptic feedback. You can change what long press does. It, everything here, you know, what happens on t screen timeout. Um, it's got every possible thing. W what happens when pop-ups come on, come in? <laughs> you know, like it's amazing. It's oh, absolutely man. amazing. So um, it's got a ton, a ton, a ton of different ways to. It's got s stuff to help for. Um, uh, for if you've rooted your phone, or you know, like, or any ways to interact with the home button, um, you can, you know, you can, you know, hide things. It's 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 really amazing. So um, it's only a dollar ninety nine, which is amazing awesome. as well. Yeah, that's it's that's so really cheap. Great. Um, and my only complaint, which I didn't find a, a solution for, which maybe I just wasn't looking deep enough, but my problem is that um, on this lock screen, I drop my phone, and you find it at the mall you can get in and do everything. Sure. Mm, That's the problem. Uh, it's like, oh, great. You want the yeah. security. I, I, would, I would have preferred a password or something yeah. like that. You know? And the thing is, is that you can interact with, this is the same problem when we had Apple Bomb on the show. Remember when we were yeah. talking about lock screens with that? Is that you can still have the native Google password thing, but then it goes to the lock screen. Right. It's two extra steps. Right. I would love this to be nothing is enabled until I do some sort of password or do something like that in order to get into it. That's my only complaint about it. And we were talking about how I always seem to sabotage myself because I, I just attack <laughs> these apps because I want to find the problem with it. That's the only complaint I have about the entire app. Wow. So um, it's great. But it's, it's kind of a big one because it's security, yeah, right? Yeah. 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 So um, I don't know. I would buy that one right yeah. away. I think we just got KO'd here. Mm -hmm. Finally. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yep, several I'm going people in the chat room already said they bought it. Like, yeah. They just bought listen, it based on your... Uh, listen, as long demo. as I win Oklahoma in the poll, I'm happy. <laughs> that's all I really want. So that's my dream. All right. Well, speaking of the poll, some of you found it. I saw the link. But, Did uh, they really? Yeah, somebody Well, because it's not it. hard to figure that out. Well, I tried. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyways, uh, go to bit.ly uh, bit ly slash AAA episode 23 and you'll find Me the... Me uh, kicking butt. Is, are you already kicking butt? Yeah, 83%. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. You know, I can't not vote for yours either. That's really, that's really horrible. And whoever's voting for mine is, like, way a just pity vote. loyal yeah. to me or whatever. And look that's at me. So nice. I've got Oklahoma. Yes. Oh, wait. That, isn't, that doesn't show to me. Can you show the poll, uh, Chad? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's Oklahoma. Yep, there's Oklahoma for Ron. You're my people. Oh, and he's getting Minnesota. Yep. And Missouri, everybody. Come on, Seattle. Whoever's in Washington, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. Uh, all right, awesome. Oh, someone had a pity vote for Lockbot. That's cool. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, that's you nice. got a pity vote. We don't know where it's from, though. I yeah. wonder if it's like Hawaii or something. Because it's not showing it's up. Not in the showing. Oh, it's probably one of Ron's dominant yes, states. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's right. We just can't tell. <laughs> it's from one of the purple states. Yeah. Uh, well, I think uh, that does it for uh, this week of All About Android. Next week, again, grab bag for the arena and uh, all feedback episode, unless there's something huge that breaks. Right. I don't know what there could be. Although we we'll probably will talk about the Samsung Galaxy S2 announcement that is tomorrow. Uh, if you're watching uh, this on Tuesday, that is happening now <laughs> for you, but we will talk about it in our next show. So, uh, Nicole Lee, thank you so much for joining us again. Three weeks in a row, special guest star yeah. with a gold star. Awesome. <laughs> she's, like the, she's like the mayor now. I know. Maybe she's the mayor of the guest stars. She's got stars. the mayor badge. Yeah. Nicole, where can everybody find you if they want to? Yes, you can go to um, dialedin.cnet.com. That's where I write about, a lot about phone news, and that's also where we have we host our um, weekly cell phone podcast at CNET. Awesome, awesome. Thank you again. And Aaron, thank you so much for being on the show today. Your yeah. first time. I hope you had fun. Oh, yeah, we absolutely. We have a lot of fun on this show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's good to, be, uh, good to be in the brick house again. And um, No, it's a lot of fun. Well, where can people find you if they um, uh, want to look you up? Pretty much you can find me at Aaron Newcomb. 
anywhere. So, you know, Twitter.com, Aaron Newcomb, Facebook.com, Aaron Newcomb, please uh, add me to your circles on Google+. Plus. That's where I do actually all everything now. Um, that's the only place I am. Uh, and then you can also go to thesourceshow.org and take a look at some of the podcasts I've done in the past. Not real active, but occasionally I'll throw out a podcast, and <laughs> it's always pretty entertaining. If you like uh, Maker Fair, for example, that was the last podcast I did. So you can go check out uh, everything that I uh, took a look at at Maker Fair. Lots of interviews and cool stuff. Awesome. Thank cool. you, thank you. And Ron, uh, pitch your stuff. Pitch my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's very easy to find me. Go to about.me slash ronxo, where you can find me. Find links to all my various social networks uh, there, like Twitter and Google Plus and Facebook and Foursquare and all that fun stuff. Um, and you can also check out the websites I work on during the day. Check out ifanboy.com, which is a great website talking about comic books, or graphically, the company that owns iFanboy, which just released new comic books on the Nook. So you Nook Color enthusiasts out there, we just released about 15 more comic books for the Nook Color. So uh, if, you're, if you cool. have a Nook, we, we're trying to get, keep you entertained. So go to graphically.com and check all that out there. Um, and I, I just love being on the show. So it's great. So it's nice being here. It's good. I know. Uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's nice. But. Nicole, you have to come up sometime if you can. Whenever. I know. I should. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, you can find me at Eileen TV on Twitter, um, but I'm on G+, so just, you know, circle me there, and you'll find me there, because that's where I do most of my... I think we're all on G+. Yeah. I know. That's where I do I'm most to do of my talking. More. The problem is, is that, like, I've built Twitter to be my broadcast. Yeah. Because like, I have Twitter cross-posting to Facebook, and then I've got other things to cross-post to Twitter, mm -hmm. and then it goes from there. I need that I need that Google Plus API. I need to be able yeah, to post from other things. From the app, you want to yeah. be able to just But I'm trying to do it more. I'm trying to do it yeah. More, so. I yeah. just find it more of a conversation, and everybody's yeah. really great. These are our people. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, the, exactly. the Androiders are in there. Yep. You know, I get more feedback about our show or anything Android-y there awesome. um, than I do on Twitter, even mm -hmm. if I ask the same question. So yeah. yep. find me on there. Uh, all right, voicemail is 347-SHOW-AAA, email and voicemail at AAA at twit.tv. We're also on Twitter at uh, Android Show, and you could find our show notes at twit.tv slash AAA. We're here every month. Monday from around 5 to around 6.30 Pacific, depending upon when we uh, uh, get set up, at live.twit.tv. Everybody have a great week. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Welcome to All About Android, episode 23, recorded on Monday, August 29th, 2011. This is your weekly source for the latest news, hardware, and apps for the Android faithful. I'm Eileen Rivera. The and, colors and, are and I'm Ron Richards. This is mostly an artifact <laughs> of non using graphics acceleration. What is that? Is that, that me? <laughs> <laughs> I love I show opens that are messed up. Yeah, so that totally threw me off. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Chad, is that you? Who is that? <laughs> Who did that? For some reason, DDR2 just started playing, and it was... <laughs> It's the guy who's showing the cry the the cyanogen mod on the new. Uh, <laughs> I was like, it sounds familiar. Uh, like I don't know how that from? happened. <laughs> that was awesome. I Make didn't sure. hit play or anything. Make sure you keep this as an outtake. Just <laughs> okay. put it at the end of the show.